Good morning, Catalina Foothills Church and Friends. It's Pastor John Stone with our Tuesday demo, uh, devotion. And this coming Sunday, we're going to be looking at Romans 8, uh, verse 28 and 29 and 30. And this is what God's Word says. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who've been called according to his purpose. For those, God, for those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. This he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. Um, and so, uh, the first verse here, which really relates to last week, if you remember, he says, in the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness, we do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. The, the Spirit groans when we don't know to pray. And those prayers are answered in a concrete way here. And one of the ways that they're answered is we're given a promise that God is working for our good in all things. And we need to confess right up front that this is very, very difficult to believe. There are many things that happen to us. We lose friendships. We've lost jobs. We've had friends die. We're ill. The promotion we long for, the promotion we deserve, the job we should have had, the opportunity that was never given to us, the hurt knee our senior year in high school when we were going to be an all-star all uh, volleyball player, swimmer, point guard. They were taken away from us, and it's hard to sit in our seat and say, that was for my good. It just is simply a hard, hard thing to say, you know what, that was good for me. Because as we look at it both in the past and in the present and consider even the future implications, it seems like I was robbed of something, not something that would have made me selfish, not something that would have um, made me narcissistic, but something that I really wanted that was beautiful. And yet in that moment, the illness, the non-promotion, the loss feels devastating to us. And yet here's a promise that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him who are called according to the pur his purpose. So he at least qualifies this in a way I think that's helpful for us. He says, For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son. So now we know that in part, those groans that the Holy Spirit is giving in verse uh, 26, those wordless groans, what the Holy Spirit is praying is that we would be conformed to the image of Christ, that we would look more and more like Christ. Because those whom God foreknew, those whom God loved beforehand, he predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son. So we know that those of us who love God, and we know that those of us who are God's children, are being conformed to his image. And we admit, because of Romans 7, that because we still have a sinful nature and yet a heart, a spirit full of life of God, that there's a part of us that is fighting this being conformed to the image of God. There's a part of John Stone that fights against this will of God, which is for me to be conformed to the image of his son. So the promise that God says is, I'm working good in this, John, when you lost the job you wanted, is that now I'm making you more like your son. I am making you more like Jesus Christ. Now, let's keep in mind, Jesus Christ has experienced abandonment, uh, false imprisonment, false accusation. He died for sins he did not commit. All of his friends deserted him. He was fired from his job. And we could go on and on in his own crucifixion. Christ experienced these things. And yet, we know now when we understand that God's promise to work good for me includes that good of me being made in the image of Christ. That's like the good of a doctor who says, look, I've got to lay you down. I've got to surgically open up your body to take out disease that you might be whole. That God's working his image, working his son's image in me can be painful and hurtful. And yet the promise is it's for my good, that God has good in mind for me. He also says here in verse 30, and this is something we'll talk about as we go forward, and, and those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also 
glorified. And what he's saying is, this work that I began in you, I will finish in your glorification and in your justification. I will work into you the image of my son, and that is for your good. I am working good for you, and that is making you like Jesus. Wow. Deep words, deep ideas. We're coming to some really interesting times in Romans. It's good to be with you today. Hope you have a good week, and we will see you soon.